let's pretend that this finger and fingernail are our actual client's nail. I've just made these out of a modeling clay. And we're going to begin with using a pusher. A pusher is what we're going to use to get rid of our cuticle. Here's our pretend pusher versus the real one. Cuticle actually covers the entire nail plate because it grows out attached to the nail plate. So if we start up here, we'll simply make a mess, which will leave bumps and lumps in our polish. So we're going to start down at the beginning of the nail and using our favorite cuticle removal product like C&D's Cuticle Away, gently lift and separate the cuticle from the nail plate. Then we're going to come in with a curette. Curette is just a small scoop tool that comes in different shapes and sizes. Here's our pretend curette. We're gently going to take that in gentle sweeping C or slightly circular movements along the epinicium and down the lateral folds to remove our cuticle. As you can see, we have a flap of skin across the back. Now if we're really aggressive with our pusher, instead of simply sliding to lift and separate the cuticle from the nail plate, you'll notice that we make a really strong flap of skin. And the temptation is to cut that flap of skin off. However, you'll notice because it's pink, it's actually attached to the epinicium because it's part of the epinicium. It's meant to be there. So we would have them use home care to break that down and get it back to a normal, healthy epinicium, especially if it's been trimmed and removed improperly at other salons. It's living tissue that will callus over to protect itself. Here are our nippers. Here is a dry piece of skin that is dead and ready to be detached. So we could gently slide our nippers and gently remove that hangnail versus getting into the actual lateral fold. Now if we gently use our curette along the epinicium, you'll see that we can smooth out the edge of the epinicium so that it's not quite so rough and give it a more smooth appearance. If we have some little bits coming out from under the epinicium, that is generally cuticle, and we can come in with our nipper and remove that small portion of cuticle with really gentle snips, making sure that we're not tugging as we're cutting, we're cutting all the way through. What products would you recommend that your client use for home care? Hope this helps understand the benefits of making sure that you're doing this correctly and that you understand the difference between the epinicium, the cuticle, living skin, and dead tissue.